What I'm working on at the moment uh, is uh, in the book of Genesis and I'm looking at Noah and in particular it's very interesting because uh, several years ago I uh, noticed a number of children's books in Genesis and noticed that they often begin to say you know there were all these wicked people on the earth and then what God found one good man his name was Noah and it's, it's interesting because you look at the biblical account and what the biblical account says is that everyone was wicked and God was going to destroy humanity but then it says, but Noah found favor. And so the contrast, as I looked at it, was not everyone else was wicked and there was this one good man, but everyone is wicked, but Noah finds favor. He gets what he doesn't deserve. God tells him about um, to build the ark. And Noah, by faith, does that. And then he's declared righteous in Genesis 7-1. And I think the statement in earlier is a summary of his life. So I think he is righteous, but I don't think it's at the moment when God calls him. So that's an interesting topic because if you look at children's books, um, I, I um, spent some time looking at over 50 of them and not one of them mentioned favor or grace. And so I think that's got important theology for teaching our children as well, uh, because sometimes we can think that God saves good people and that's not the case at all.